Looking for ideas about how to scale your machine learning training and prediction? Well, you've come to the right place. With over 500 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see ML in production, architecting for scale, then stay tuned, because here's the Rewind. When it comes to machine learning, there's toy ML and production ML. Both are very important, though different types of problems to solve for. And when we say scale, as it pertains to machine learning, it not only means the usual, you require additional servers, but also being able to scale up to more training data or bigger models and not having reduced availability and response time when prediction load increases. On the training side of things, you should definitely be using the tf.data API. And if you're using it in a distributed system, there are a couple of handy arguments to add to some of your method calls that will dramatically improve the speed with which you can read in data. And this becomes especially important when it comes time to use accelerators like GPUs and TPUs. One additional area that may be worth exploring if you want to have just a little more control over your infrastructure is Kubeflow, which helps you run TensorFlow on Kubernetes, though it's not limited to just TensorFlow. And this library, it tries to address some of the challenges around composability, portability, and scalability that are faced when building larger ML systems. Turning now to the prediction side of things, there are a number of optimizations that are worth exploring. The graph transform tool and TF Lite allow you to optimize your model for serving speed. And there is even a guide for how to properly optimize the batching of your prediction calls. So that's handy. And finally, check out TensorRT, a library that allows you to take full advantage of the Tensor cores in NVIDIA's V100 GPU. This library was developed in conjunction with the TensorFlow team here at Google. So when it comes to scaling up machine learning, there's a lot of options to navigate and choices to weigh. So be sure to check out the full talk if you've got some ML scaling challenges that you are working on. Thanks for watching this Cloud Rewind. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I've included the link to the full talk in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe for more great content. And I'll see you on the next Rewind.